getting the house is the deal in spring market. You're not gonna get the house at a good deal. From my last video, a lot of you said like, yeah, I do wanna buy this year. I just can't figure out how to afford where I live. So my biggest advice, and this is my seventh spring market that we're going into right now in real estate. If you wanna buy, say you're looking in the $500,000 price range, the first weekend that something comes on the market, if it's listed for $4.99, don't even see it. I know that's sad. I wouldn't even go see it. You're going to get your hopes up. It's going to go for more than $4.99, more than $500, what you can afford. Wait until Monday. Have your buyer's agent reach out to the listing agent. Did you get any offers in? If they have two or less, go see it. If they have three or more, it's going over asking. If you are someone who can afford again 500,000 but you look at things that are in like the 450 range go see it the first weekend and put in an awesome offer it's going to be uncomfortable putting in an offer in the spring market because you have to be so competitive at least in southern new hampshire where i am northern massachusetts um you may have to do things like an appraisal gap meaning that you you agree to pay a certain amount over the appraised value to cover the difference between the appraised value and the contracted purchase price, or you may need to do a threshold on uh, inspections, meaning we'll do really fast inspections, like five days inspections, but we're only looking for items over $3,000 or over $5,000, something like that to give the seller a little bit of peace of mind that you're not going to be asking for a bunch of little things to get fixed. Um, you're probably going to have to just choose whatever closing date the seller needs, um, bringing as large of a deposit as you're possibly able to. As the listing agent in certain situations, if I get, say, eight offers, I just I call every single lender to verify the finances, but it is nice if the lender calls me and he's like, oh, uh, this person has more than sufficient funds. They have a very strong job. I don't see any issues with financing. That just kind of gives me more confidence in that buyer. Um, also have your buyer's agent continue to reach out to the listing agent. I know that um, sometimes that gets annoying for the listing agent. If you have like a ton of offers, like 15 plus offers, it's kind of annoying having 15 agents keep reaching out, especially if their offers are like not great. But if you feel like you put in like a bang in offer on this property and you feel like you have a really good shot of getting it, make sure that your your buyer's agent is following up with the listing agent to ask like, is there anything I can do before the deadline to improve our offer? Is there anything else that the seller would like to see on the offer? Let me know if you need help.